I've been looking at this uh, very small fine wing. This tiny wing 450X looks actually very good. So, um, so instead of bought the fine five version, actually I bought the key. Okay. So the original purpose was actually to put my own ESC, my own uh, motor, and also uh, servo and um, a controller on it. All right. So I bought a kit. Actually, it came with uh, two uh, two units. I gave one to my friend, and then uh, this one is the one that I'm working on. To have everything fit onto this flight controller board, you need to use some of the smaller servo with the the smaller connector all right so uh so not all servo come with this connector and come with that length all right so you actually have to find something really uh, fit onto it so actually i'm you i actually happen to have uh because i'm flying uh omha p1 uh the s720 i do have some uh surface components so i could find two uh servos that actually Fit the size actually this is actually slightly bigger uh the one that they recommend is a smaller size i actually use a very uh, large one because those are the components that i have other than that actually the motor the esc and the flight controller board are exactly the same as from the 5 and 5 version so that's why i said i highly recommend that if you buy the 5, 5 and 5 version you have to keep in mind because if you buy everything not as a PMP but as a kit you actually have to cut all this wire soldering all this motor wire to the ESC and then uh, soldering the signal wires to the flight controller board as well as the power wire uh, I mean it is not very difficult but I guess uh, uh, I mean why, why bother if you actually uh, want to use all the original components uh, something that is slightly different from the diagram that uh, you, sh you see here in fact when the flight controller board came in the power cable is already shoulder on so it's not like what they show here the power cable actually coming from the from the ESC for this case it already soldered in to the flight controller board uh as a result of that i mean uh, if you are thinking use 3s instead of 2s i think you can give up that idea if you are using the flight controller board because the flight controller board only support 2s even if you put a 1s in there it will not function so i highly recommend that uh you buy the you buy the buy and five versions the next thing that i want to talk about is how you do the setting now we are going to look at the binding of the tiny wing 450x to my txsg plus receiver that i'm using is uh, om hobby futaba sfhss uh, protocol All right so let's power it up So when you power up, I suggest that you leave it state, all right, uh, for a while. Okay, so now it's flashing red. Okay, so if we turn on the controller now, you see it binded. It starts singing its song. So that's not ready yet. So you still need to wait until the last bit and then it will do the checking of the control surface all right so now it is fine so if i move my photo right, move. of course i highly recommend that you remove the prop okay it's safe to use that all right so that is the binding procedures so now you see the light is green so that is actually that actually means that it is armed Right. So for this arm, okay, the light will be solid red. Okay. So when it is armed, 
you can actually change the different mode. So this is the auto level mode, which is green. So the second one is mix mode. So it's a fashion green. The last one is rule. So that is the uh, menu mode. All right. So that mode which switches only work when it is armed. So when it is disarmed, all right. So you always always red. So that is the binding. All right. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to set up the controller. Of course, if you're using the DXSG Plus, uh, you can follow the procedure. All right. Now zoom, I zoom into the controller so that you can actually see the screen. Uh, actually, when I first uh, mine to the controller, uh, I thought I actually was unable to uh, control the the motor, so the motor doesn't spin. So there's something that I actually need to do. Of course, uh, first thing is you actually have to calibrate uh, the ESC. So uh, you look at the mixer. So for my photo, You say, see that actually I need to reverse my photo. So if you are actually getting the PNP version with the same motor and the same ESC, you might actually have to do it. So that is probably one of the reasons that it uh, the motor doesn't turn when I first binding it. Okay, so that's something that you may actually have to pay attention to. So to set up the controller, so as stated in the menu, there are actually two switches that you actually have to set. One is to set the switch for arm and disarm. So that will be in channel 5. And then uh, for channel 6, so that will be your mode. So so uh, you actually need to set this up. All right. So I'm going to show you. So let's move it down. So this is channel 5, alright, I, let's just move across, All right. so I set it to H switch here, so if you move it down, you see that, so this is a, uh, arm and disarm, so set it to a uh, two uh, two page. So for the page one, so the page one, so it's this one here. Okay, so I set it to switch edge. So for the values of minus one hundred, so this is arm. So you check my page two. So this is uh, a switch X, H1, so that means down. So the value is 100. So minus 100 is armed, 100 is disarmed. Right. So that is for your channel 5. Alright, for the channel 6, so that is your theme mode. So I set so I set it to this switch here, uh, switch G. So it says go it down. Uh, so I switch D. Right. There's three pages. So page one, the values is minus one hundred. All right. Page two. D1, that means the middle. All right. So the value is 0. Page 3, D2, the value is 100. So that means that 
for auto level mode, the values is minus 100. For the mix mode is zero. For the manual mode is 100. All right. So I highly recommend that you actually set up all this before you fly to the plane. So that should eliminate the problem that when you after you do the binding, okay, nothing work. All right. So that concludes the setting up of the controller with the uh, Tidy Wing 450X. Now I have actually put the cover and then the vertical stabilizer on it. Okay. And also tidy up to the cable. So uh, it's very clean now. Uh, so this is the battery I intended to use, uh, 2S. So it fits very well up here. Okay. And uh, the problem is uh, with all this in there, uh, we are extremely tail heavy. So uh, we are missing actually 10 gram. So what I do is, uh, you see the little pieces here? Actually, I cut this out so that uh, it gives me a bit more space to add weight onto it. Okay, so that's where I put my battery. In fact, I like to use those uh, blue tape, all right, uh, the blue tape that you found. Uh, I mean, uh, from a uh, stationary store. So I cut a few pieces and then stuck it over here. All right, so that may be about two gram. So on the cover here, I also add some blue tape and then, the, and then the, uh, the tip for some of the screwdriver. All right, so that all together is about 10 gram. So in fact, uh, like it's just put into the slot of the camera so it fit very well so now if I put it together tidy up a little bit okay so I snug it in it's pretty perfect All right so uh, let's see the balance so the balance should be right around here okay so we do have a very good balance now so let's see how much it weighs now. Exactly 100, 101 gram. Yeah, 100, 101 gram. That's pretty good. I think it is ready. I have already adjusted the, the movement of the control surface. So the CG is 112, and then the movement of the control surface is 30 degree. Okay, so let's see. 112, where is it? From the nose. 112. So, so right about this edge here, all right, so that is where I set the, the CG anyway. All right, so we'll try it. I mean, if the weather is okay, I mean, uh, we'll fly it as we can. Hope I can show you the test flight video, but this thing is so tiny, I'm not sure, in fact, uh, it should play well on the screen.